Welcome to the channel people. Today we're doing a quick video, just a walk through video today, walking video. We're going from the top of Manor Street all the way down to Courtney Place here in Wellington City. That is the old Mid City building across the road. And it's Monday morning, it's a bit cold. I mean, the sun's not out, but we've got to do what we've got to do, right? So, for those people watching this who are not familiar with Wellington, I'm taking a walk from the top of Manor Street all the way down to Courtney Place, down the end of Courtney Place. So, hope you enjoy this video and thank you for tuning in. Maybe we should shoot. Uh, Maybe we should um, cross the street over here. Let's cross the street. We're gonna, I think, plan is to stay here for six to a year, six months to a year. Just coming up towards the corner of Manor Street and Victoria Street. Yes, McDonald's is uh, still there on the corner. Let me point the camera to where we're going. Now this is the corner of Manor Street and Victoria Street. Now where the buses are coming from, there used to be a wall. Before they opened the road up, it used to be paved. And uh, we spent a lot of times in that mall, man, it's mall. But now, the buses are going through. Now let's cross before we get run over. So, on the left, the old um, Willie's Wine Bar used to be down there, the Regent. I think that's what it was called. But Willie's Wine Bar used to be down in that corner, downstairs. Victoria Street. And this is the old Manus. The old Manus Mall here. Back in the day, this place used to be the happening place, gathering place right here, but now traffic is going right through it. So those who remember back in the days when there was a mall here, fun times those those days yes but um the sun's not out the sun just comes in and out so that's what it looks like man the street by the way this is Monday morning uh, abracababra still here And across there, that's the old BNZ building, I think. That's what it was called back in the day. That's where Burger King used to be, like in the 90s and 2000s, mid 2000s. That's a James Smith's uh, building on that corner. It's been there for a long time. And this is Cuba Mall. They got Taco Bells here now. In this corner, Cuba Mall. Okay, let me just pan the camera slowly. Down. So, James Smith Building. That's looking down towards um, Michael Fowler Center. Down the bottom of Cuba, Cuba Street. Yes. Now this place here, spent a lot of time here in uh, Cuba Mall. That's Cuba Mall up there. And this is the Oaks Complex. Old building is still here. La Luna Club used to be there. 
corner. Tim, James Smith scrolling across there. So those that know Oaks Complex, La Luna Club used to be upstairs. Yeah. La Luna Club used to go off in the 90s, mid 90s. That was the spot, La Luna Club. And I think before that it was, used to be called the Soul Bar. Here in um, the Oaks Complex here, right in this building where we're at now. Now there's the bus stop here now. So they've turned that place into a bus stop. As you can see here. Yeah, see what you guys think. Place has changed a bit in Wellington for those who have left Welly a long time ago. Now, so, the 24 hour shop is still across the road. Cozy Cakes, you know, Cozy Cakes shop there. Opera House here on Manor Street. And this is Pigeon Park. I think it's called Tearo Park now, but this is Pigeon Park. This is the Oaks Complex from the other side, on the Pigeon Park side. It's pretty quiet. So this is the famous landmark of Pigeon Park. I think it's called Te Aro Park now. So yeah, for those who are um, living abroad, they used to live here. See if you can see any changes in this city. Still look the same to me. And I've been away for over 11 years, 12 years. So let me show you. See, Te Aro Park. Here, Pitchin Park, but there's nothing but seagulls here. They need to change the name to Seagulls Park. Kind of sad, a lot of buildings are boarded up here on um, Manor Street. I remember growing up here, I used to think this used to be busy, but now I've been back place just looks pretty empty actually even though it's a Monday morning still for cities it's pretty quiet so the great India restaurant still there across the road this is Dixon Street on this side Manor Street on the other side but Dixon Street here Coming up to Taranaki Street, one way street, Dixon Street. Hey, brother, morning. Friendly locals. Well, he is a friendly place. I mean, most of New Zealand is pretty friendly. Different levels of friendliness here. People are usually pretty, pretty cool. So, if you're thinking of visiting, uh, New Zealand definitely I recommend it so, Taranaki Street here the old Molly Malone's building there on the corner there of Manus and Taranaki Street Taranaki Street Looking down, looking down towards Taranaki Street, down there. What's up, brother? 
people yelling. But I don't know. <laughs> so that's Taranaki Street. Um, and let me show you something. So that's the old Molly Malone's building there across the road. Pornay of Taranaki and uh, Courtney Place. We're on the top of Courtney Place now. Right in the corner here. And this is Courtney Place looking down. Yes, we're in Courtney Place now. This is the start of Courtney Place. So we're going to take a walk down towards um, the Embassy Theatre here from the top of Courtney Place. Now, Courtney Place is where the, the heart of the entertainment uh, business here in Wellington. It's where a lot of the nightclubs and bars are here. So this place gets pretty busy on the weekend. This place here. We're just in the courtyard of Courtney Place. Burger Field on the corner there, that's the old Saatchi and Saatchi building. Across the road, just down from Molly Malone's, there is the, the Enigma Cafe. It used to be called um, Expressaholic. So on this street here is where a lot of the clubs and bars are. Okay, let's continue. Grew up here in Courtney Place. A lot of memories here in Courtney Place. We used to run a muck here back in the day. Me and my friends and, you know, all the homies. This We spent a lot of time here in Courtney Place as youngins growing up. Also, it's where all the clubs are. Across here, on the left of me where that Reading sub Cinemas is. Reading that's Reading Cinemas out there. Now, there used to be a, a club there called Dr. John's. That's where we started all our clubbing back in the day. It was one of the first hip-hop clubs that played hip-hop and R&B back in the day with DJ TP. So, if you know, you know. And this is this place here. Let me show you. This place here is St. James Theatre. So St. James Theatre is where we're at right now. That place there, Courtney Central, is closed down, I think, since the earthquake. Building's still closed down. It's a buddy. And this is, we're looking down towards Courtney Place. It's like I said, it's early in the morning. 10.30. It's 10, around about 10.30 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, no, no. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Good, thank you. Um, so it's about 10.30 in the morning. It's pretty empty. But, hey, we've got to do our video, right? And mermaids. I'm sure some of you people watching this video have probably spent a bit of time here. <laughs> mermaids uh, see where those trucks are parked across the road that used to be I think the Big Easy or the rain bar the rain bar back in the 2000s used to be the rain bar this is the Grand yeah this area used to go off in the 2000s uh, I'm just walking past the, the Grand. Now Nick, right next to it used to be Coyotes. So those that grew up here in Wally around the 2000s, Coyotes used to go off this spot right here. Now they got this place, the Garden Hotel. Used to be called Coyotes. They used to have a big, uh, they used to have a big courtyard outside. So yeah, those are some of the spots that were here back in the day. Now it's all kind of changed. Let's, let's continue. Now, most of the bars are down this area of town. Across the road there, you can see. Yes, it's the entertainment hub of Wellington. Down here in Courtney Place. 
where a lot of the happenings are if you want to go out at night on weekends. It's right down here. And this 24 hour mart here is still here. Now it's night and day. Now this is Courtney Place down on the corner of Courtney Place and Tory Street. Let's cross the street. Now we're looking at Tory Street on my right. Remember the old Burger King used to be here on this corner? Now it's an Indian restaurant. And right, at, right on that corner, so this is Tory Street and um, Courtney Place. Right on that corner there used to be the sports bar. Right there. They used to go off. I think it's be start off like ecstasy plus back in the day. Maybe we'll, we'll cross the road. Why not? Let's cross the road. Ooh. So right here used to be a bar right here, but it's all boarded up. This is where the old sports bar used to be. The old Ecstasy Plus back in the day. Even for myself, some of these places are new to me because I've been away for a long time. Pretty quiet on a Monday morning. This building boarded up. I think the old Bank of New Zealand used to be here on this corner of Allen Street and Courtney Place. Across the road from me is KC Cafe. Now that place is one of our spots, eating spots. That place, the food is hectic. Highly recommended, 100%. And let's walk across so I can show you guys a bit closer. That's here. That's KC Cafe, the red sign. This is KC Cafe right here. It's already opened. This, this is a spot here. If you know, you know. Yes, we're walking back to the other side of the street from KC opposite down by Allen Street. So we'll continue from here. Now there's a few bars down this street here, Allen Street. There's Allen Street here on Courtney Place. And on the corner is Mish Mosh. Mish Mosh Bar has been here for a long time too. So that's Mish Mosh there. Let me get a good shot of it. Right on this corner here. A lot of the bars, of course, because this place only comes alive at night. You should on the weekends, you should be pretty busy down this stretch in Courtney Place. Bus stops. Mini bar. Big shout out to Gonzo. Mini bar here. And the Hummingbird. The old Paradiso here on the corner of um, Courtney Place and corner of Courtney Place and Blair Street. Now, this is Blair Street. Now, this is where all the clubs used to be back in the 2000s. 2000s, this spot here was the, the main, the center of all the uh, actions down here in the center of all the action in. Um, of the nightlife here in uh, Courtney Place back in the 2000s. This place is to go off Beatty's Bar down there. I mean, a lot of bars. The old establishment on the corner there. Boston Bars down there. Reed Square. The old Ponderosa. And so on. And also, this is where the boys uh, started the foot soldiers on this street right here on this street here 
I used to live down here on Blair Street. Yes, it's pretty quiet, right? But welcome to my neighbourhood. This is um, where I spent a lot of my time growing up in Wally, right here, especially on Blair Street. We started foot soldiers here, um, DJ Raw, Flows, and myself. This is where it all started. Ali Bumbaye, K1, the indigenous son, and Dal C. That's the original foot soldiers. And Shogun. So it all started here in um, this area here. The original kitchen was right down here on Blair Street, behind me, down that street. Now, we've spent a lot of time here. Like I said, the nightlife of Wally used to be on this street, right here. It used to go off. Courtney Place was the spot. Now it's pretty quiet nowadays. But um, see where those bus stops there? Now, if you grew up here in the 80s and 90s, there used to be bus stops here. Now, this bus stop they used to be here in the center here, or this area where I'm fanning the camera to. They used to have pay phones in those bus stops back in the day. We used to tap it, <laughs> tap the phone. Can't afford to pay the phone, we used to tap it. That's how we used to do before. This is before the cell phone and all these things nowadays. If you know, you know. Do you know about tapping the phone? So, it was right here. A lot of memories down on the street here this stretch in Courtney Place and we're gonna go across the road and show you the rest of our Courtney Place across the road but I, I just thought I'll show you guys this area of town because it's um, for people that live in Wally they understand the significance of Courtney Place and I'm sure a lot of people have created memories especially with their nightlife going out right here in Courtney Place Over here, I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but behind me, it's a place called J&M. Now, J&M is a very popular spot, only at night time. <laughs> There's a takeaways that people end up after going clubbing, you know, they go there. Never know when they are in the daytime, but night time, that place is like a nightclub, you know, there's long queues and stuff. So right behind me, J&M, if you know, you know. So... That's J and M right there. Another landmark of Welly. Yeah, noodle canteen is still going. Now we're walking back towards the embassy theatre. <coughs> so yes, that's the walk down from top of Manus down to Courtney Place. And if you grew up in Wally, you, you know Courtney Place, the area. Oh, big shout out, RIP to my man, Blanket Man. He was in the Blanket Man and the Juggler. Rest in peace. Those were some of the characters on Courtney Place for years and years. So I'm standing here in Courtney Place down the inner Courtney place just want to pan the camera and show you people now there's a really dope um, what you call um, place where we used to go and have our yum cha um, one of our yum cha spots it's up here regal Chinese restaurant up there you see that up on that building yeah shout out to my man Dulu we used to do a lot of a lot of yum chas up in that spot. Dulu, DJ Raw, Flows, even my man Shand. Spent a lot of time in that yum, ch yum cha spot up there. Spent, we spent a lot of time in that yum cha spot. Hello. Hi. <laughs> right in front of me, this is um, a camera, movie camera. It's like a monument built by Peter Jackson's from um, Peter Jackson. And the Weta guys, you know, people that made the, Peter Jackson made the Lord of the Rings. So this is, across there, there's the theater there, Peter Jackson's uh, theater, the 
Embassy Theatre, that is where um, the Lord of the Rings series and all those had premieres right here in Wally. That's where it was first shown, right across there. And we're looking down Cambridge Terrace, across the road, is um, what you call Kent Terrace. So behind me where Sweet Mother's Kitchen is, I think that's one of the spots that uh, my man Nick Apostolakis used to uh, own. So rest in peace. Hey guys, <laughs> malos. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> people yelling. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, here in Courtney Place brings a lot of memories. Uh, big shout out to uh, Nick Apostolakis, the Don, the Don of the of Courtney Place from back in the day. Uh, rest in peace, my man. Salute. Yes, a lot of memories here in Courtney Place. This place here, I just thought I'd bring you guys down in Courtney Place just to show you what, what the place looks like now. I mean, it hasn't changed much. It still looks the same. Just shops, names are different. Now, now the sun decides to come out. So that is our video for today. So salute you guys. All the stay in the boss lane. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you people.